Hello and welcome to WVU Medicine Tuesday Talks. I'm your host, Mary Ravazio Menard. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society estimates that someone in the U.S. dies from a blood cancer every nine minutes. Since 2018, the WVU Cancer Institute has been fighting blood cancer with a cutting edge immunotherapy called CAR T cell therapy. The procedure has revolutionized the way we fight cancer. So what exactly is CAR T therapy and how does it work? Who's a good candidate for this treatment? We'll answer those questions and more with Dr. Kelly Ross, medical oncologist at the WVU Cancer Institute. Welcome Dr. Ross to Tuesday Talks. Thank you so much, happy to be here. Well, we're glad to have you here. So. The WVU Cancer Institute, it's my understanding, is the only site in West Virginia that offers CAR-T CAR therapy, right? That's correct. Okay. So what is CAR-T therapy and how does it work? Sure. CAR-T cell therapy stands for chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy. And it is a way of, of collecting a patient's lymphocytes, engineering those lymphocytes to fight their cancer, and then reinfusing those cells into the patient in order to to fight their cancer um, and hopefully even potentially cure them of their cancer. Wow, so this is this is like a really groundbreaking treatment because you're like supercharging the you know their the patient's own immune cells, right? You are. It's it's a it's a very exciting, very innovative therapy. It's been around gosh, for close to a decade now, mm -hmm. but really um, kind of hit its stride probably in the, in the mid-teens, and we've been sort of ramping up the, um, the number of diseases that we use CAR T-cell therapy for, the different types of CAR T-cell therapy that we use to treat different cancers. So which blood cancers are you treating now with CAR T-therapy? We can treat a variety of lymphomas with uh, CAR T-cell therapy, both aggressive and more indolent lymphomas. We also treat um, uh, a type of leukemia called acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and the newest uh, cancer that we treat with CAR T cell therapy is multiple myeloma. Okay, um, so who is a good candidate for CAR T therapy? Each um, each type of CAR T cell therapy and each cancer that we treat CAR t uh, uh, with CAR T cell therapy has a different sort of indication for treatment. Um, so certain patients can be treated in second line or third line. Some patients need to wait until later lines of therapy until they're eligible for CAR T cell therapy. And that's just based on the studies that have been done in that disease state and the approval that the, that the drug has in each disease state. But so they have to have tried another treatment and, and that treatment has not been successful? Uh, so so uh, yes, essentially. There are no current indications for CAR T cell therapy as upfront treatment for okay. blood cancers. Okay. So all of our patients are relapse refractory in some way, shape, or form. Some are earlier in their, in their course of therapy. Some are later in their course of therapy. And for the most part, patients have to be relatively healthy, you know, mm -hmm. be in, in relatively good shape because it's not nothing to go through something like CAR T cell therapy. So we have to, the, there are sort of two ways of thinking about it. The patient has to be eligible for CAR T cell therapy, so they have to be healthy enough, relatively young enough, relatively to receive CAR T cell therapy. And the disease has to be eligible for CAR okay. T cell therapy. So they have to be in a, a, a relapse refractory state or have gone through a certain number of lines of therapy before they can be eligible for CAR T. You mentioned before that you just recently added an, another cancer, the myo... Multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate more cancers to be added to that list as we go along? Yes, there are other cancers that are currently in clinical trial, things like Hodgkin lymphoma, T cell cancers. These are all um, uh, cancers that are uh, have current active clinical trials for them for CAR T cell therapy. Here at WVU, we uh, currently only have commercially available CAR T cell therapy. We don't have any um, clinical trials open for CAR T cell therapy, okay. but we anticipate that that will be changing and that we will be opening um, clinical trials for CAR T cell therapy as well. Oh, wow, that's good to know. Um, okay, so how long does CAR T cell therapy take at this procedure? Yeah, so um, patients, after they're deemed eligible for CAR T cell therapy, their cells have to be collected. Um, that 
process only takes a few hours to collect their cells. So they're, they are put on a machine, their blood flows out of their body into this machine, and the machine will spin their blood and separate it into its component parts. A red blood cell part, a platelets and plasma part, a white blood cell part. We siphon off the white blood cell part and we send that off to um, the company to manufacture the CAR T cells. Manufacturing of CAR T cells takes anywhere from maybe two and a half weeks all the way up to mm -hmm. five weeks, mm -hmm. depending on supply and demand and um, the different uh, CAR T cell therapy products. And then once their cells are manufactured, the patient comes, they get um, a, a few days of chemotherapy called lymphodepleting chemotherapy. Then their CAR T cells are infused and then they have to stay with us here in town after that for about four weeks time. So you now in, in town, stay in town, or stay in the hospital? Stay in town, stay here in Morgantown. Our, okay. uh, across the street from the hospital, next to the stadium, we have um, something called the Rosenbaum Family House, which mm -hmm. is a wonderful resource for our patients. Yeah. It's a place where our transplant patients stay, our chemotherapy patients stay, and our CAR T-cell therapy patients, and their families can stay while they're here in town getting their, getting their treatment. So that's where the majority of our patients stay. So it sounds like the first part of the procedure, it, it's, it's kind of similar to a blood transfusion. Am I oversimplifying that? The, the first part, you mean when they collect yeah, the cells? Yeah, when you're collecting and, you know, to get the white cells. Kind of mm -hmm. like the opposite of a blood okay, transfusion, right? Okay, yeah, like reverse. Taking it out. Yeah, yeah, blood yeah, blood. yeah, yeah. But actually getting the cells back is not dissimilar to a blood okay. transfusion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And why do the patients have to stay near the hospital for four weeks? Well, that's because of the potential toxicities of, of CAR T-cell therapy, which we monitor extremely closely for. Sometimes patients get um, CAR T-cell therapy as an inpatient. We try to keep all our patients outpatient because we, it's just much nicer for patients to not be kind of stuck in the hospital, so yeah, to speak. Yeah. But we make, we, we make them come over three times a day to our infusion center for evaluation and monitoring blood work vitals, things like that, while we're monitoring for toxicity. Mm -hmm. And we actually have them do that for two weeks and then we can sort of ease up a little bit on that. But it's because we monitor them very closely for side effects. Yeah, what are the possible side effects to, uh, to this procedure? Well, there's three main side effects that we usually talk to patients about. And the first one is cytokine release syndrome, which is essentially like getting a big dose of the flu, right? Oh when, you're, mm -hmm. when you have the flu, you have fevers and muscle aches and your, you know, your blood pressure could go down or you could be short of breath or mm -hmm. you could just, you know, just feel terrible. And that's because your immune system is responding very robustly to an infection. In this case, your immune system has this very robust sort of milieu that's happening in the body that sort of manifests in a similar way. Okay. So patients can get very sick very quickly with this, with this sort of constellation of symptoms like fever, shortness of breath, low blood pressure, high heart rate, things like that. And, and we monitor very closely for that. And we, you know, stick patients in the hospital or we have certain, you know, stepwise treatments that we do for, um, okay. for side effects like that. The second side effect that we worry about is neurotoxicity and also neurologic symptoms. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be um, uh, confusion, headache, dizziness, muscle weakness, like nerve issues. Sometimes patients' level of consciousness can go down. Oh, wow. They could even be in a coma. And so we need to monitor very closely for that as well. And again, there's a certain um, protocol of treatment that we use if patients are developing these symptoms. And then the last thing that we have to keep an eye out for is that their blood counts can go down, their normal blood counts can go down. So they may be dependent on red blood cell transfusions or platelet transfusions, or if their white blood cell is low, then they'll be at risk for infection. So we keep a close eye on those as well. So those are side effects, but the, the benefits of the treatment definitely seem to outweigh the possible side effects. Yeah, our goal with um, CAR T cell therapy is what we sort of term a durable remission, right? We're, we are hopeful that some patients can be cured uh, with CAR T cell therapy. That word is a little, um, you know, CAR T cell therapy is very, you, very new. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. very new therapy. So what we sort of say is patients can have an ongoing remission or a durable remission um, from their cancer with CAR T cell therapy. Occasionally, we actually use CAR T cell therapy as a bridge to what we might consider a more definitive therapy. Like if, if patients have acute leukemia, we might give them CAR T cell therapy to really drive them into remission and then do an allogeneic stem cell transplant afterwards. But in some cases, the CAR T 
T-cell therapy is the final therapy, and we hope that patients will do well with wow. their CAR T-cell therapy alone. So how long then would you consider the, the recovery to be from this procedure? Well, <clears throat> that depends on the patient. So some patients do reasonably well and don't have a lot of issues, especially, mm -hmm. you know, they are in town, all told about five weeks, you know, mm -hmm. for their, their time mm -hmm. here in town, and then they go home and they're, and they're feeling pretty good. We don't let patients do things like drive for, you know, eight weeks oh, after, yeah. their, after their CAR T-cell therapy. Um, and some patients can have lingering um, side effects or lingering issues well after they go home. Some patients feel fine, you know, some patients feel fine, but their blood counts remain low. So it just depends on the patient. So how long after the procedure does it take to tell if it's, if it's successful, if it's working? Yeah, it, that, well, that depends on, um, on the, the cancer that is getting um, the CAR T cell therapy. So um, we'll do imaging studies for uh, lymphoma, usually around, I, I usually do them around day 60. Some, pa uh, some, some physicians will do them even earlier, around day 30. That's the same with um, uh, blood work for multiple myeloma. I'll do the blood work that will give us a, you know, some indication about how well this all worked. I usually do that around day 60. Ideally, patients will be in remission at that time. But if you wow. see a really nice response, like a, like a really fabulous mm -hmm. drop in, in the numbers that you want to see go down or in the imaging studies, um, then you say, okay, this is working and maybe by you know, the next set of imaging, it's going to look much better. Do you have a success rate for this treatment? Yeah, well, it just it varies depending mm -hmm. on um, the the cancer that you're um, right. that you're treating and the CAR T cell therapy product that you're using for that cancer. So there are several products, for example, that all have the same indication, and we choose different products for different patients based on um, based on you know the patient, right? So. Some products are a little gentler, maybe. Okay. So in an older patient, you might choose a mm -hmm. gentler product. Mm -hmm. Some may be more, um, have higher efficacy rates, but then also a little bit higher toxicity rates. And so uh -huh. we sort of choose the, you know, pick and choose our, our products. So it just varies depending sounds on like the product and the, the cancer. Sounds like a balancing act. Oh, it sure is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, so, the WV Cancer Institute, we're the only ones in the state doing this, mm -hmm. right in our front yard. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And it's, and it's been for a while. So um, you've been offering CAR T cell therapy since 2018. So how would you say the treatment has evolved uh, and improved since... 2018. Well, in 2018, we opened our first product, so we had only one product available at that time. Now, I think commercially available, we have, I think, five products now. Okay. Uh, commercially, uh, the, of the commercially available products, and for all. So we have basically nearly every commercially available product for every indication, mm -hmm. you know, that is FDA approved for. Um, for blood cancer sort of across the board. So we've been opening new products, new indications have, have come about. So it's been really, our program has been expanding as the field has been expanding. So we've been sort of keeping up with this growth in the field. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it is a lot to offer CAR T cell therapy at a center. You know, most, um, you know, you have to go through a lot of um, regulatory. Mm -hmm. um, I'll bet type stuff and so so it's no uh, mean feat to open CAR T cell therapy and so we're very proud of our of, of our CAR T cell therapy program and the growth that it's been experiencing. Yeah and it sounds like it's anything but a one-size-fits-all kind of treatment. Yes, correct. We've got five different products and you know for different cancers mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. different health stages for for patients. Um, so it's a pretty robust program. So why um, would you, why would you tell a patient, why should they come to the WVU Cancer Institute as opposed to going somewhere else? I think there's a lot of people that think, you know, if I really want to get, you know, state-of-the-art procedures, I'm going to have to leave the state. Mm -hmm. Is that the case, really? No, mm -hmm. we have everything available here in West Virginia. So we, we do all types of transplant in West Virginia, and we have CAR T cell therapy for every indication at the moment um, that's, that's FDA approved 
And like I said, our, our CAR T-cell therapy program is expanding. We're looking into opening clinical trials for CAR T-cell therapy here. So it's, it's just very exciting. And, and um, you know, you can get excellent care in your own backyard. Yeah, and really it's in our front yard now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're here in Morgantown. That's right. <laughs> so before we go, I always like to ask, what's the most important thing you want our viewers to know about CAR T cell therapy at the WVU Cancer Institute? Well, I think it's important to know that um, it's not easy to go through, right? It's, it's, mm -hmm. it, it can be hard on a person, it can be hard on a body, but our goal for, for patients is always to give them the best possible response that they can get and the best possible opportunity to be successful with their, you know, with their treatment, whether that's cure or at least a durable remission or whether that's more time or whether that's, um, you know, uh, quality of life, you know, all of these things. We're just, we're just trying to, whatever patients go through at the cancer center, we're behind them 100%, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, along with our patients. That's excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing this information. This is really exciting. I mean, and it it's, is. it's just getting better mm -hmm. and more options. So yes. thank you for sharing that. We sure. really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That brings us to the end of this edition of Tuesday Talks. If you're looking for more information about CAR T cell therapy and blood cancer or other cancers, visit wvumedicine.org slash cancer. I'm Mary Ravazio Menard, and on behalf of Dr. Ross and everyone at WVU Medicine, thanks for joining us.